So he's saying that he, he's loving improvising with major scales. And he's saying that if, when he plays in the key of B major, it sounds really good to him. Yet when he plays in the key of G major or the key of A major, for some reason, it doesn't sound so good. So we need to back up and really understand actually what's happening and how the guitar works from a fundamental level before we answer this question. So the first thing is that regardless of what key you're playing in, if you're playing a major scale, you're playing the same notes, meaning you're, you're playing the same feelings or the same sounds over and over again. It doesn't matter if you're in the key of uh, B or the key of A or the key of G. There's only one difference between any of those keys, and it's not how the notes feel relative to each other. The only difference is the pitch of the overall scale. Now, what I mean is we know at this point that, uh, or if you're new, maybe you don't, but we know that each major scale has seven different sounds or seven different right notes. And those seven different notes create seven different emotional feelings, right? When you play uh, note number one, for example, in the key of B, it gives you a certain feeling. It feels like home. Whereas if you play note number five, for example, it's going to feel very strong. It's going to feel like um, maybe like a cavalry charging into battle, like attacking the castle. It's a very strong feeling. Now, if you change those feelings to the key of, let's say, A, or you slide down to the key of you know, G or F or a different major key, those feelings do not change. If you play the first note and then you play the fifth note in the scale, you're still going to get that feeling of that really strong feeling of like a cavalry charging into battle. Uh, the only difference is the overall pitch of the feelings. So let me give you an example. Let's say that we have a flight of stairs. And you know, when you walk up the stairs, there's a, there's a flat part and then there's a part that goes up and you just walk up the stairs. So let's say on each stair, you have a bag of marbles and inside the, the bag, there are seven different marbles. Now those marbles, the seven marbles represent the seven different feelings or the seven different uh, sounds that are in each key. Now, what a key is, is actually a container. A key, uh, most people don't really understand what a key is. And you know, it's, it seems confusing because the way everybody explains it is really confusing. But honestly, uh, a, a, the, the simple version is that a key is literally a container. It contains notes. So in a, the example of our marble bag, let's say we have a bag. The bag is the container. And inside the bag, we have seven different marbles. The marbles represent the seven different feelings or the seven different notes in each uh, major key or in any major key, right? So you have a bag of marbles, a bag of seven marbles, and it's sitting on one of the stairs. Now, if we go up the stairs, we can think of the pitch, the overall pitch, the highness or the lowness of sound going up. If we go down the stairs, the opposite is true. Let's say we're walking down the stairs, we're going down, down in pitch, and the pitch gets lower and lower and lower like that. The only difference between the keys is the pitch of the seven feelings. So you have your marble bag, and we can put a different marble bag or bag of marbles on each stair. So every single bag of marbles has seven marbles in it. It has seven feelings in it. If we go to the next stair up, that's like going to the next key up, the next adjacent key. For instance, that's like going from the key of A major to A sharp major. And then you can go up another stair to B major. And then you can go up another stair to C major. And that's all we're doing. The seven notes and the seven feelings relative to each other inside the container of the key inside the marble bag, all those seven notes always feel exactly the same. The only thing that changes is the overall pitch of those feelings as you go down the stairs or down in keys or up the stairs or up in keys. So all of that to say, now that you understand a little bit about what keys are, all of that to say, it shouldn't matter if you play in the key of B major or you play in the key of A major or if you play in the key of G major, you're hitting all of the same seven feelings. The only way that it would really sound off or different or bad is if you, you might just be hitting the wrong notes. You might just uh, not be hitting the notes in the major scale. So what I would do is make sure that you're hitting the actual right notes. Uh, make sure you're using the same pattern in this case if you are going to play in the key of B, A, or G major. And the reason I say use the same pattern is just because it's an easy way to hit the right notes. It's an easy way to hit the notes in the scale. So what do you think, Brock? Think that answers the question? Yeah, I, I love the the thought of the seven feelings, and it's it's cool because the composers use it a lot. They use those feelings when you're when you're watching a movie or watching a play or a drama or something, and the you know when something's about bad is about to happen because <laughs> they are playing into those feelings. I think they're probably the ones that use it the best. 
um, those guys who are doing like TV shows and movies and just composing that music. Um, totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. You know when it's going to be happy. You know when it's going to be sad. You know when there's tension. Exactly. Like they know, they know how to pull on that, and then they know how to release that tension uh, mm -hmm. with the de different notes. So yeah, so that's the benefit of learning the seven feelings because when you learn them yourself, then you can control the emotion that you want to play, and that's the key, right? Remember at the beginning we said that we all have music inside of us that we want to express. Well, the only way you're going to be able to control that music or to express it and let it out in a way that you control on the fretboard is literally by learning the different the seven different feelings or the different feelings that you can play around with and learning how they interact with each other.